Hi, I'm Ned, and I make games. And today I want to show you a sparkle shader that I cooked up. It's a simple effect, but I think it looks pretty nice. Little flecks of light shimmer as the camera moves. Older viewers may recognize this shader from a stream a while ago. I wanted to adapt that HLSL shader to a shader graph, so here it is. I made this in Unity version 2020.1.3 F1 using Universal Render Pipeline version 8.2.0. If you're working from a fresh project, you can start with a URP preset or set the render pipeline up yourself. The gist of the algorithm is that we want to simulate random scattering of light off of the sparkly surface. I do this using a noise texture to create a random vector and then check how close to parallel that vector is with the view direction. The closer to parallel, the more that pixel will light up. Sounds similar to specular lighting, right? First, let's set up the noise texture. I'm using a completely random noise, but you can use Perlin noise or any pattern of your choosing. Just make sure the red, green, and blue channels are used, since I use all of them to create the random vector. You'll probably want to turn off sRGB, MIP maps, and compression if you're using a texture like this but use your discretion. If you're curious, here's the old shader written in HLSL. Thankfully, a lot of this stuff you don't have to worry about anymore using the shader graph. So let's get started. First, go ahead and create a PBR graph. I have one already here. The PBR master node will allow us to use Unity's built-in shadows and lighting, so you don't have to create that all yourself. I have a simple texture sample plus tint for the albedo texture. So you just sample the texture and color tint, multiply, and there you go. The sparkle effect is routed into emission. The emission color is added on top of all other effects and is not affected by shadows or lighting, so it's useful for special effects like the sparkles. So let's start from the beginning of the sparkle effect all the way to the left. First, I need to sample the noise texture. I use the model's UVs, since they tend to be uniform across a face, and the sparkle scale allows me to change the size of the sparkles on the model. So use the sample texture node. After sampling the texture, I need to create the random vector. So I take the R, G, and B colors out of the texture and feed them into this vector 3 node. And then you subtract one half of it to recenter the vectors around 0. Now you normalize the vector to bring the length back to 1, and that gives us a random vector. I then add the random vector to the model's normal vector and normalize again. This biases the random vector towards the model's normal, which I found tend to look more natural. After that, you take the dot product of the random vector with the view direction and saturate it to throw out negative values. Make sure that the view direction and the normal vector are in the same space. I chose object. I thought it looked the most natural. For more control over the model's sparkliness, I added this intensity value. It acts a lot like smoothness in specular lighting. This algorithm, which just changes the sparkle intensity into a value that works best to feed as a power to the dot product output. So the higher the intensity value, the less sparkles there will be, kind of like how the higher smoothness value, the less specular lighting there will be. Lastly, Multiply this output by the sparkle color and feed that into the emission field. If you save the asset, then you'll have the finished shader. That's my simple sparkle shader. I'm pretty happy with it, but I already have some more effects in mind, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like so YouTube knows to recommend this video to others. It really helps my channel. But I have some questions for you. How do you plan to use the sparkle effect? Are there any other shaders or visual effects you'd like to see a video about? Thanks again for watching and make games.